like to um, have you talk to you about um, what the uh, homeschooling looks like, what, what you have seen as best practices uh, for your students um, in high school, which I'm sure is completely different than what I'm seeing with my children in elementary school. And what do you see parents have been managing well? And what do you see as um, perhaps the little nuggets that we could all take and, or maybe just look at it from a completely different perspective uh, when we're really challenged with day-to-day -day homeschooling? Hello. So the first thing I would like to say that it's beautiful to see how, how at different levels, elementary, middle school and high school, the best teaching practices are different. But I would like to piggyback on what um, Ms. Gilbert had to say that I would like to praise the parents. I would like to tell them that they're doing the best they can because this situation is definitely not something that we expected. It's unprecedented. And just like it is something new, unexpected and maybe challenging for them it is equally unexpected and challenging for us as well. So I would like to tell you that know that you're already doing the best you can. And, and I know that you're supporting your children who are staying at home and who are getting education from, from their uh, from they homes. So I would like to acknowledge that it's a difficult situation. And, and my suggestion I'm going to tell you are just suggestions. You know how your family is, you know, you know what works the best for you. Every family dynamics is very, very different. So acknowledge that and be kind to yourselves. Um, one thing that, that I find that it's working well for my students is when they follow the, 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 the school schedule or the school routine. So we have the difference maybe between elementary and high school levels that our students uh, have more teachers. So this is not just one teacher who can, who can be available for them, but they have to communicate with six, seven teachers, maybe even more in some districts on a daily basis. Uh, my suggestion would be then follow the, the classes because, because every district, the district that I've looked at, they have they, they divided into, into their regular classes, their regular periods. The benefit of following the class schedule is that the teachers are available online many times. We do video conferencing with our students and we are the ones who are ready to help them. So we can, we can do it live if there's any question, we can answer those questions right away. So I would encourage the students, encourage the parents to make sure that your child is following the school schedule. And I know that many times it might be maybe waking up a little earlier as we would do on vacation, but um, the truth is this is not vacation yet. So it's the regular school time, maybe postponed by an hour, 90 minutes, depending on the school district. So if you can, please encourage your, your children to to be there um, for the for the start of the school uh, on a daily basis. Um, that will be the best because we can really answer the questions. We don't expect the parents to be AP Chem teachers. We don't expect them to to be experts on four languages or math. Uh, we are there to to help them. So please know that that direct your child if they have any questions to reach out to us right away. And ideally. Um, during the school time because we are there we are also in front of the screen and we are we are ready to help our our students um with that being said establish a healthy routine um the students that i find that they are successful um with being at home and and following class are the ones who are following the daily routine um the the difficulties that I see, even many times they acknowledge that as well, because they would tell me I wasn't able to finish my work because I spent too much time on your phone. So if you can eliminate any distractions when it's time to work, that would be absolutely ideal for that practical situation. Yet at the same time, I have to acknowledge that that being on the phone um, or or is a way how they can communicate with a with a friends. Just try to distinguish when it's time to work. Maybe it's time to work when it's time to socialize with their friends then then it's time to socialize with their friends um another thing that i would i would also encourage the parents to have and i know it's it it is difficult because because we are working from home too i'm a parent as well and i find it very challenging with my own child uh, who is being who is being um receiving classes at home and at the same time i'm um giving classes to my students um have a dialogue about school um focus not on is this completed, but ask your children if they, what did you learn? What did you enjoy about learning? What did you find particularly difficult? 
uh, when things get difficult, what do you do? What are the skills that you can employ to solve the situations? Because, because we are focusing on skills. We are not in education as just a simple, simple tool to get us a job that would make us successful uh, for in our life. So focus on the process and, and talk about the joy of learning because learning should be, should be a joyous process. Um, maybe even a class that I don't particularly enjoy, maybe I'm going to take it as a challenge that I'm going to conquer and that's going to give me the strength and the, and the skills to, to face more difficult situations later on in life. Um, so this is something that I find um, maybe important. I'll talk about the importance of learning. Why we learn is not just because I would like to go to college, but is what are the skills does it give me? Um, what are other, maybe maybe the social aspects of learning as well? What is it that I'm learning when I'm learning, I don't know, maybe about history, although I would like to be a doctor. Um, so emphasize overcoming difficulties and and focus on the improvement it's not about getting the a it's about it's about the constant improvement if i know that my child maybe have gotten a grade that i might not be happy with but if i know that he made the best effort that's the grade that i'm going to take but i can focus maybe on the self-reflection what is it that that you do well what is that something that you can you can do next time when you have an a summer assessment, when you have a similar work. So these are the things that would help us maybe move further and improve uh, as we move on, as opposed to just focusing on the grade. Um, one thing that might be also a little different, we also acknowledge, although my district is, a, I would call it a high-tech district, we are, mm -hmm. are well-versed as teachers, but also as students in technology. However, this is not something that, that we thought wouldn't be happening long term although we have experimented with virtual days in the past but there were maybe one or two maybe three so this is this is week five so this is something that that we are not necessarily used to but we are trying to make the best of best out of it and know that your children will be fine um this might be something um don't be afraid to to reach out to to school we have our administrators are are available every day uh, guidance department is available every day case workers are available every day so if you if you have a child who has special needs make sure that you're reaching out to the teacher make sure you're reaching out to to his or her guidance counselor uh to his or her case worker because because when we know you're going through challenging situations it's easier to help us maybe one example would be because we understand that that not every family has to have for example internet connection but when we when we know that this is something they need to solve, we, we can also find ways how we can help the family to, to arrange maybe the challenge that is, that is currently happening. And when we know that there's something going on with you, we can also reach out and we can, we can help. So I would, I would encourage uh, either students or the parents to, to reach out to, to the teacher or to the mission or to school or to, to guidance counselors to seek help because, because my colleagues are there to help that I know. That's, uh, I think that's, that's great advice. I, I love what you said about um, understanding that we're all developing problem solving skills. I mean, children, especially. Um, I think this is, this is so needed, right? We, we all found ourselves in completely different territory and we're all dealing with separate issues, but children themselves are actually finding themselves um, solving their own problems, which is a skill so much needed. So I haven't even thought of looking at it this way. So thank you so much for, for saying that. You're welcome. I know that it's gonna be fine. At the <laughs> end, this is only temporary and it will be fine. Well, we're all learning valuable lessons. At least what I found is um, throughout this time, I found that um, although I'm spending a lot of time homeschooling uh, my children, especially my younger one, my kindergartner, I found that it's um, extra time to bond. So I really found that silver lining there um, during this time. And I feel like after we, the initial decision on the teaching style and finding some common ground between his request and my views of what that should look like. And of course our teacher's um, guidance, I think we found, um, 
a good good meeting a, a nice meeting of minds and um, now we're kind of in a place where we're enjoying that connection see so that that's good there's a silver lining in everything and <laughs> i would like to echo what my colleague had said too uh, it does not have to be perfect because you do not have to have to head in the perfect work but um do the best you can in the in the current moment in the current situation i thank you thank you so much for saying that because obviously we wake up and we ask ourselves that question every day and at the end of the day did we do did we do enough did we do well and um i guess our children are going to be the ones that tell us and um uh, we'll, we'll be able to answer that question in time well, thank you so much, Ms. Canova, for joining us You're today. Welcome. And let me see if we have any questions uh, from audience specific to um, handling homeschooling for children in the high school level. Um, and I don't have any comments right now that I have seen. But for those of you that wish to um, tell us about your particular challenges, uh, please feel free to reach out directly to me and I would be more than happy to direct you to Ms. Canova and answer any particular question. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's been a long week for you, I'm sure. So <laughs> I, I don't want you hold you any longer. Uh, thank you so much again. Enjoy thank your you. weekend and stay well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.